Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we'll build a complete RAG chatbot from scratch. Before we continue, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Now, RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation, which is a powerful technique that allows AI models to answer questions based on your documents and data. By the end of this video, we'll build a functional chatbot that answers questions about any document you feed it. The flow basically works like this. Documents get processed, stored, and then our AI uses that stored knowledge to answer questions. The first node we will add to the canvas is the file loader. This node is responsible for reading your documents into the system. Under Document Loaders, select File Loader. This file loader supports PDF, text, Word documents, and more. You can either upload files directly or specify the file path. Let's upload a sample document. Click Upload File, select the file, and then click Open. Next is to configure our text splitter. Now we need to make our documents into smaller chunks. Why? Because AI models have limits on how much text they can process at once, and smaller chunks give more precise answers. We want to add a recursive character text splitter to our workflow. We click the plus icon and then select Text Splitter. Under Text Splitters, we see the different kinds, and we are going to use Recursive Character Text Splitter. This splits documents recursively by different characters. We click and drag to the canvas area. We see that the chunk size has been set to 1,000 characters. This is a good balance between context and precision. Then, Chunk Overlap has been set to 200 characters. This ensures important information isn't lost between chunks. You can click on additional parameters here to see advanced options. That is where you select Custom Separators. The default settings work well for most documents, but you can adjust based on your specific needs. Then we connect the text splitter to the file loader. Let's save our workflow. We are saving it as RAG Chatbot. We successfully set up document loading and text processing. Now we are going to make our text searchable by converting them into embeddings and storing them in a vector database. If you are new to embeddings, think of them as a way to convert text into numbers that capture meaning. Similar text gets similar numbers. This allows our AI to find relevant information quickly. It's like having a smart librarian who understands meaning, not just keywords. Now let's add embedding to our workflow. Click on the Add button. Select Embeddings, and under Embeddings, we have different types. We have AWS, Azure, Cohere, Google Generative AI, Google Vertex AI, Hugging Face, Mistral Embeddings, etc. Now, select your credentials. Select Google Generative AI. You should have already added your Google AI API key. If you don't have one, just pause the video and get it from Google AI Studio. Keep the default embedding 001 because it's optimized for this type of work. Set the task type to Retrieval Document for Processing. Now we have set up our embedding. The next thing to do is set up vector storage. We need somewhere to store these embeddings for quick retrieval. So we go to the Add button here, and then we search for Vector Store. Vector stores give you an option of stores. We have cloud-based stores, then local stores. We have Astra, Chroma, Couchbase, Elasticsearch, Face, etc. You have a lot of options to choose from here. For this particular mini project, we'll be using the in-memory vector store. Select this option and drag to the canvas. Let's adjust this. Connect the file loader to the in-memory vector store. Now drag your embeddings down here. Then you connect the embeddings to the in-memory vector store as well. In the in-memory vector store node, the top K here is set to four by default, which means it will retrieve the four most relevant chunks for each question. For the output, we can either use the memory retriever option or the vector store option depending on the use case. For this use case, we will use the memory retriever option. Also note that the in-memory vector store is perfect for prototyping, but for production, you might want to use persistent storage like Pinecone or Weaviate. Let's trace what happens to our data. Our file loader reads the document, the text splitter breaks it into chunks, and the embeddings convert each chunk into a vector. The vector store saves both the original text and its vector. When someone asks a question later, that question gets converted into a vector. The system finds the most similar stored vectors and returns the corresponding text chunks.
We now have a smart document storage system. Now we are going to add a conversational AI that makes it all come together. Let's add a chat model, and we are going to add the chat Mistral AI node to our workflow. Click on Add Node. Under Chat Models, select Chat Mistral AI. However, note that this is applicable to any chat model. How do we get our Chat Mistral AI credential? We just search in our browser for Mistral AI. Then we select Mistral AI. It takes us to the chat interface of Mistral AI. Click on the username icon and then select Settings and then select API Keys. If you don't already have a key, you can create a new key and name it Flowize. Select Create New Key and then Copy. Mistral AI is an AI model on an AI platform that offers chat generation and powerful AI use. We head back to Flowize. Once you head back to Flowize, you select Connect Credentials, and then you can create a new credential here. I've done this already, but I'll show you. You name your credential here, and then you just paste your key here. Or better still, you can get the API key straight from this link provided here. Once you've saved the new credential, you can select your credential and then you select your model. We're going to leave the temperature at 0.9. Under additional parameters, you can keep the max tokens to 500. This is optional. Then the top probability, you can leave it at 1.0 and then enter. This chat model will take our retrieved documents and generate human-like responses based on the information. Now for the masterpiece, which is our conversational retrieval QA chain, which is a question and answer chain. This node will take our questions and conversation history, reformulate our question based on context if needed, search the vector store for relevant information, and generate a response using both retrieved documents and chat history. It is what makes this a true conversational system, not just a one-off question answer tool. Let's add our retrieval QA chain to our canvas. We are going to select from chains, conversational retrieval QA chain. We drag this here to our canvas. We adjust our chat flow. Now we connect the chat Mistral AI to the conversational retrieval QA chain, and then our in-memory vector store to the conversational retrieval QA chain. We can also decide to add a memory node. Go to add node, select memory, and then select buffer memory and drag to the canvas. Then connect the buffer memory to the conversational retrieval QA chain. Now with the buffer memory here, this keeps recent conversation history. We save our progress. This is our complete workflow for our RAG application. We can adjust into a better arrangement so that you can see everything clearly. We have already uploaded a file so we can go ahead to test this. We wanna verify if the answers provided are based on the document. Type, what is the document about? Now, we see that the response gives us information about the document. Next, we ask, can you summarize the main points? And now, we the response shows the main points from the documents. You can also ask about a specific topic. You can ask, what does it say about the European Convention? We see that the chatbot responds from the document. I can ask of something that is not in the document. What is blinding? We'll see what response it gives. We see the response here. Based on the provided context, it does not appear that the term binding is discussed in this document. This means that we have a complete RAG chatbot. Congratulations. We successfully created a sophisticated RAG chatbot that can process and understand documents, answer questions with relevant context, maintain conversation memory, and provide source references. This foundation can be extended for countless applications, such as customer support, internal knowledge bases, research assistance, and more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you for following through this video. Save your workflow and experiment with different documents, and don't hesitate to customize it for your specific needs. Thank you and bye.